Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. It's a small channel and it won't cost you anything. My goal is to get 1000 subscribers by the mid of this year. Thanks. Hi, hope you guys are doing well. So before we get started, um, this uh, concept art does not belong to me. I have uh, left the link in the description below of, of the uh, original artist. Uh, so in this video, we'll be doing a breakdown on how to model in this. It, it isn't exactly a tutorial, it's more of a breakdown to show you how to go about modeling something like this it's fairly simple but also complicated so let's get started so first we'll head up to blender and delete the default cube and then want to go into front view and change shift a image and references because again this isn't a proper reference but it uh, it's what we'll have go about doing So now I'll create in another collection and name this as uh, the reference collection. We can select this image and we'll turn down the opacity to something like 0.3. And also um, from above over here, we'll just on turn on the selection and I'll just turn off the selection for this thing so that we don't accidentally select it. So now a new collection and in this new collection I'll add the shift A mesh UV sphere. Now our uh, reference sadly isn't exactly placed on the proper position, so I'll just move it to about the center. It, it, again, it's not proper reference, so we can actually deviate from it easily. Now we'll add the modifier and a subdivision surface modifier. Just one level is enough, and then apply it. Then shift it, duplicate it, and this sphere is actually we're going to be rotating it. So R Y 90. So now we have our two spheres. It will actually later found out why I actually did this. So um, I'll also create a sort of a backup collection and copy and paste uh, these spheres in the backup collection. Let's just call it backup because in this one we are actually going to be using these spheres again and again. So I'll just turn these off for now. So now let's just hide the first sphere as well. And I'll just clear, clear shade out or smooth this one. Now tap into edit mode, right is that to wireframe mode and then just select one half of it and delete vertices. So I want to go to top just in case we actually miss any vertices and yeah we actually did. So also delete these vertices and then go into front view. Now add a modifier, add in a mirror modifier and tap into edit mode again and then set wireframe then select just select these corner border edges. Um, maybe we'll just select it like shift alt and yes now we actually have selected this and then g and x to move them just ever so slightly in the in the uh, opposite direction so that there's this small gap in them and then e and scale it inside and then that wireframe and then g and x to move them back so that they're actually joining a uh, linear part so now this is very sharp uh, cut so we actually want it to you know like we little solid so i'll add the solidify modifier and the thickness to uh, thickness to 0 0.05 and then also add in a bevel modifier maybe increase the segments and also um, the amount was like something 0 0.3 just so that we have this cut but the cut doesn't uh, have to like be completely uh, out there so now for the uh, side parts this is where our second sphere comes in so again we'll just click our second sphere and shade smooth it and then um, go into edit mode with that wireframe um, let's just add the mirror modifier in over here as well so that it's easy to do everything so i'll just delete um, about this many vertices maybe a few more i think this about this many is enough and also this um central part we're also be going to be getting rid of the central part delete what says so for this part um control a and apply rotation so that it actually appears on the other side and also add a modifier add the solidify modifier but we want the offset to be on the other side and maybe change this to 0 0.1 i 
I think that's good enough. Let's just move the solid by modifier above and then apply it. Tab into edit mode. Now we actually want this um, edge to move about on the same side over here and the outer edge. Shift Alt and move about over here. Now this doesn't look smooth right now and also it's actually way too big so let's just select it all and then scale it down to about like so and then G and X to move it on this side now let's just start scaling it back out so that it's just on the border you can also turn on snapping actually help you with this and we can also just select this loop and gg to move it just to give it that smooth um, fall off now as you can see um, our reference actually has these um, um, side arms thing is uh, there are actually a lot of uh, um, how should I put this words um, moved so far sort of out of the regular circular shape so we're going to have to edit this to be also the same so um, um, I guess I'll just delete this inner ring because it doesn't seem um, right Um, I'll just refill them back again. Refill, um, rejoin these my loop tools and bridge, and it's actually not closed. We also actually wanted to sort of pop out of the surface, so let's turn on proportional editing and then G and X, and maybe I'll just Make it so like this, and I don't think I think this is a little bit too extra, so I'll just delete this as well. And um, again, loop tools, bridge, then just select the outer loop, and then G and X without the proportional ratings. And move it like so, and then shift out G, 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 and then move it like this. Shift out G, G, and move it like this. <coughs> shift out G, G, and move it outside, maybe about here, and um, shift out. And then I just scale this one out, maybe a bit proportional editing to about here. Now you can obviously um, see that we actually have the basic shape. Now um, to create these, uh, um, I don't know, mobile arms or whatever you want to call it. So um, select this and um, let's just shift alt left and shift D and then P by P separate by uh, section and we have the other half so um, I'll just tab into writing mode and G and X and G and X and select them and G and X to move them on this side about over here then um, you actually have a number of options of how you can go about it you can actually go about by E and just scale it scaling them in and then MI center I think that's your standard method and then C to select the edges NX and I think I just want them to be this much thick and then again E and scale and then M by center 
I'll actually um, in this case not and by center we actually need to create it by create the arms so enx and then the arms can go inside like so again right click shade auto smooth so when you know um, this part when animating can go perfectly inside and when it's actually it, uh, when it starts to attack or something it can move outside so let's just keep it outside and then I can just select this so um, this has to be actually um, as thick as uh, enough to just fill the circular cut of the other part so I'm selecting this and um, just scaling it so that it matches the cut of the other um, arm piece or something like that so um, the other part that we're going to be doing is the uh, these cuts over here there uh, this basic logic of these cuts are obviously going to be the same how we made this cut but the only difference is that um, let's just first start with um, deleting this what it says on the from the top so about over here I'll just delete these vertices maybe I'll just keep this other row like this and um, again now our backup spears are going to be helpful in this case so I'll just copy this here and paste it about here and then we'll hide this so using our backup sphere since it's uh, oh sorry wrong sphere but then again we can actually still use, use it or by 90 so over here now we're going to be deleting all the vertices that are already present so select the bottom part where it, uh, they exist so and delete the vertices now we actually have the upper part shared out of smooth and um, we actually need us to a little slide of this so I'll delete this part it says and um, again we can add the modifier solidify modifier and maybe the offset could be zero for this one and the thickness can be again 0 0.05 again mm, maybe on the inner side and also add in a bevel modifier maybe just leave the solidifier modifier no um, the bevel modifier and then um, select just this inner part G to move it's turn off the proportional editing G to move is just slightly above just so there's a difference and then E and scale it inside E and then scale it inside G and move Z to move it just slightly up then E and S to just get it like so. Um, maybe we'll just move the bell modifier for now and then add in a do the same for the top part. Then scale to move it inside, then add a modifier and add in a solidify modifier 0 0.05. Or let me just check the other ones. 0 0.05 and then then add the uh, bevel modifier and again it actually gives us this uh, sort of cut sort of feel that we are going for you can increase the segments and you can increase the amount as well if you actually find this cut a little bit too big we can always um, go back and then change that to move it a little bit more closer now this actually feels better and now you actually know how to create the other cuts as well uh, you can actually use a similar method for this now for this bottom um, I don't know what to call this a plate part or whatever um, we can actually go with something easier easier like um, I'll just hide these parts and for now and create a new collection called BO bottom plate and then we'll add in a plane going to top view now this bottom um, part seem, seems to be like um, a weird sort of splat um, I'll just make the general shape and then you can just copy what I'm doing 
so um e y one g one again so do the same same thing e x two e x minus two e y minus two now control r to add a loop cut in all of these now select set loop cuts and start scaling them like this then add a modifier subdivision surface modifier maybe we need to scale them more I think that's about it and then we'll actually just change the subdivision to so that it's sort of smooth out maybe we can scale them out a bit and then um, we can actually s scale the outer edges more slightly more now um, I'm just going to make the uh, thingy uh, appear and this bottom plate obviously it needs to be uh, moved to the bottom and then scale down by like a lot I think this much is okay I guess maybe even more now we're going to go into add modifier shrink wrap modifier and on surface and target object is this mm, maybe we'll just change the object to scale more mm, and also um, maybe the sides are the side ones were a little too much so we're just going to be sx and scaling them a little bit more inward and tab drive mode out and um this actually looks a lot better you can adjust it if you actually want to a little bit more maybe you can even increase the subdivisions but i think two is good enough for now so applying that and also applying the shrink wrap modifier then we'll actually go into this sol uh, modifier again and add a solidify modifier shade auto smooth and the offset is in this case is actually going to be outward maybe the thickness can in this case be 0.03 or maybe you can even increase it to something 0.05 which is actually your call uh, hmm. maybe even something like 0 0.1 oh i had the offset on the opposite direction and also you have to um, like check the first orientation for a lot of these as you can see uh, the face orientation for this side um xyl thing is isn't exactly proper so we can go into faces oh, mesh normals recalculate inside mesh normal recalculate outside i know they are proper faces and also um for this um i think 0 0.1 is too much 0 0.05 would have been enough you can again add in another um, subdivision surface modifier to actually give it even more smoothness you can obviously uh, in the end you will have to uh, dissolve a lot of these vertices and uh, vertices just to get um, better results so um, we'll make it low poly because again this is actually pretty high poly right now as you can see it, you don't have to go this high um, to, uh, to dissolve this you can easily just tap right mode shift alt to select alternate edges uh, and then uh, right click and then go dissolve edges but you have to keep, keep it linear like for example this is the starting edge then you can go with this one then um, skip one edge and then go into next one so uh, obviously this one is obvious, uh, going to be a uh, stupidly high, high poly as well i haven't applied the solidifier or subdivision the second separation modifier but uh, you can obviously dissolve this to uh, go for what you want to do now the last thing is i think the guns are stupidly simple but again i'll just still go uh, over them as well so um shift a mesh cube to first get this um, bottom half part thing i don't know what to call it add modifier subdivision surface maybe by two levels then g and z to move it down shade auto smooth tap red mode uh, oh, i'll just apply modifier tap red mode and i'll just delete this upper vertices i'll just scale this down to like so and then s and x and s and y to actually move it on the um s and x and y axis this bottom part is over here and um for the guns uh, you're going to be needing a bunch of cylinders so 
less than 2 in a slender and I think this is too high poly so I'll just go with 16 for now again you can go lower if you want to but I think 16 is good enough for now so the general shape of this uh, gun is big slender then it's going to small slender then it's going to thicker slender and a lot of these gels you're going to be adding with textures anyways so uh, x90 and then um, gz to move it down I'll just move it on this side um, maybe not and then um, scale it maybe scale it even more you have to go into edit mode where it says and then s y to make it sort of long again we're going to, have to revisit our reference so it's sort of like um doing this thing um e and scale e and y to move it out and now we have our back part but the back part also needs to be smaller so scale it like this then um, the front part is obviously sort of smaller so maybe just make it a little bit small and then e and then scale it inside it has to be smaller than this and then e and y to move it forward then e and scale g and y to move g and y to move it a bit forward a bit not too much maybe scale it scale it a bit more and then also um, E and Y again S again and I think that's about it our gun shape you can also go into I and insert and then E and Y to you know give it that I don't know why it's doing this um, you know I to move this so that it actually has this gun hole shared out of smooth and um, you can all just simply use um, cylinders to connect in this part shift a mesh cylinder rx oh, ry90 scale down gz gz to move it down s shift z to then keep scaling it and then S and X and this is this are like how um, you're going to be creating, creating the cylinders so uh, I think I covered basically all of the things again um, you actually can model easily this bottom parts this is what we have a simple breakdown oh and um, before I forget this um, meter part shielding um, this glass main screen so again we are going to be opening our backup and in our backup the uh, sphere too I'm just going to be yeah wrong sphere I'm going to copy this and paste it on our um, collection main collection paste and um, again share out of mode tap to edit mode and then delete all the uh, vertices where there are already existing vertices delete vertices and person, but in this case uh, again since the screen only exists on the first half not on the back side and um, so we're going to be deleting the back side as well to for shortcuts I guess now um, oops I wasn't supposed to delete this delete where it says again and um, maybe we should delete this part hmm maybe we should delete this part um, we'll just have to do for some proportional editing well, let's see again and um, mm, this edge as well I guess the second few edges because again there needs to be room so C to select delete where it says now that we have this part um, the easiest way to go about this is the subdivision surface modifier um, maybe this part as well and then um, I can just uh, maybe I'll just go into front view and then delete this the sides and then um, add in a mirror modifier maybe the mirror modifier has to be above and um, hmm. 
you can actually start going to uh, there are too many vertices so we'll just start deleting a couple of vertices to actually get that um, smooth fall off like this and then start smoothing it out on this side like it has to be a proper um, and then click on F so um, delete and I'll just go with like so I think this looks okay or good enough I guess mm. it's not exactly the same but it, it, it actually works you can also obviously add a solidifier modifier for this as well and obviously you can just finish the rest for yourself I think this is a good enough breakdown I will be doing more modeling breakdowns in the future as well so I actually forgot um, to tell you how to do the lights and they are fairly simple but again I will just cover them just in case so for the lights um, shift a mesh circle um, again you can actually go with 16 or 32 or even 8 but uh, for this I'll just go with 32 or x 90 and then um, tap to go into end mode uh, obviously you can uh, for the sake of um, uh, speeding up the workflow you can actually go ahead and um, you know tap into end mode G and X to move it on the side and then um, add in a modifier uh, mirror modifier so to just uh, you know make uh, things easier for ourselves but for now I'll just go with uh, the one I actually have E and then scale to create this um, inner border and then G and Y to move it on the backward then I'll go ahead and uh, select mode and shift alt select all this E and G and Y to uh, E and X and then um, G and Y to move it on the side and E Y to move it on the in the back um, I, I'll just um, fill this back part E scale M at center and shift alt to select this outward edge G and Y to move it like so and then scale it like so obviously these are sort of um, spherical not exactly this sharp so you can add in a couple of loop cards them out a bit to give that um, sort of spherical feel obviously you can actually go even further than this if you actually want to and um, again right shade shade auto smooth for this uh, I'll just hide the reference for now and um, now we need to create the glass now you have two options you can either just create the glass from um, this mesh or you can actually go with and um, separating it I'll just start with creating it from uh, this mesh shift alt and then select this uh, loop then um, E and S to scale it inward G and Y to move it forward then E and S again G and Y to move it slightly forward again again this, this is going to be glass so it doesn't actually matter um, that it uh, the edges are sh sharp or not but for the sake of it I'm just and then um, after just fill it so now we actually have our light so we're actually done with this um, I think I covered everything so I'll see you in the next video bye if you found this video helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel and watch for another one of my videos as that's how the youtube algorithm works it's a small channel and it won't cost you anything thanks and i'll see you in the next video